another Myriad Celestia trailer has been released. And just like every other Myriad Celestia, this one also teases and reveals more about the lore and story. So today, I would like to take a closer look at what was happening and hopefully uncover some hidden details. At the very beginning of the trailer, Black Swan offers to help the staff member of the Reverie Hotel to find the owner of a makeup mirror. As soon as he accepts her help, she travels to his memories to divine where the owner went. So, from this moment on, nothing is real anymore. Everything you see are the memories of the staff member, and Black Swan traveling through them. Meanwhile, in the real world, Black Swan is creating and drawing cards to divine where the owner of the mirror exactly is headed. The reason why Black Swan is able to do all this is because she is a memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. The memo keepers serve fully their remembrance, and to be able to do their task of collecting memories for the Garden of Recollection, they gave up their physical bodies. Instead, they live through memories, ideas, concepts and thoughts, which is why they can freely manipulate memories. This is also why the messenger in the Astral Express is invisible and unknowable for everyone but the Trailblazer. When walking through the memories, we can see that a lot of different characters have already arrived in Pentagony, such as Aventurine and Sparkle. I don't think this is Dr. Ratio, since his character not only seems to be a woman, but we also see multiple other people with the same head later in the video. We also see the people native to Pentagony here as well, such as Misha, Gallagher, Firefly, Robin and Sunday. Eventually, after wandering about for a while, Black Swan finds the owner of the mirror as soon as the right memories get touched, which is the card she is holding right here. This is the point where her divination takes a dark turn. It seems that something bad will eventually happen, and Acheron will be there at that moment as well. Then Black Swan returns to the real world, and shows the staff member that Robin is already there to collect her mirror. But her divination has shown a lot more cards, most importantly Duke Inferno's card, which bursts into flames and disappears. I think this might be a lot more interesting than it seems like on the surface, because to me, this divination looks like Duke Inferno will be a victim rather than a culprit. The flames that consume the card are not symbolizing Duke Inferno's own flames, but are a part of Black Swan's powers. At the very beginning of the trailer, the very same flames transform a card, which transfers Black Swan over to the memories of the staff member. So seeing the flames now destroy Duke Inferno's card, while the other cards are still intact, seems like a bad omen for Duke Inferno specifically. And then there are Black Swan's words at the end. That menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities. There is no doubt that Duke Inferno has the worst intentions for Pentagoni, but I think it's important to keep in mind that destruction is far from the only threat to the universe. Let me know what you think about all this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye.